Well, we're very concerned at the proposed effects of the welfare reform proposals on blind and partially sighted people. On the whole, blind and partially sighted people are not in a position to, to go out and get work and to take action themselves to better their positions and we feel that it's a disproportionate effect on a very low income group in society. There's going to be so many people that are actually hit by this and I think that the general population haven't really grasped how much it actually can affect an individual's life, if it, if it, you know, it can affect them in all, all areas of their life and it can actually lose thousands of pounds a year and it's really important for their mobility and for their uh, stop their isolation and to keep them out in, in um, independence and without that money they're not going to have it so we're going to have an awful lot more isolated people and a lot of those are elderly are really going to be disadvantaged if they make these cuts and if we don't do something now it might be too late to do anything later on. I understand that the current proposal is that in an assessment of mobility needs for blind people uh, the fact that you use a white stick will be taken into account and may well restrict the amount of mobility payment that you're entitled to. And well, I've just come into Edinburgh today and it's a totally unfamiliar area and I would not be able to get around in Edinburgh at all without the aid of uh, a sighted person. Which is what we've had to get here. And, and uh, I think I'd like to say to the people that are making these decisions, I'd like them to spend a couple of days with blindfolds on and just using a white stick and actually trying to see if they could, you know, how independent they could be. Can they actually do the normal things like walking about and getting a cup of tea? And they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to do it without someone to help them. It doesn't mean to say we can't do anything for ourselves, but we, we do need assistance and we do need help, especially in new environments um, uh, and, and those sorts of things.